Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And today I have a question for Google. Accordingly to WhatsApp, you can migrate your WhatsApp data from an iPhone to an Android phone, right? And you can see here that this only works with a Samsung Android, Google Pixel, or a device with Android 12 or above. On my left, I have the Realme 99, and on my right, I have the OnePlus N20. They are both with Android 12, and I have both devices factory reset it because you know that if you want to transfer your WhatsApp data from an iPhone to an Android device, you need to factory reset your Android device, okay? We're gonna start with the Realme 9i. Select English, United States, anything that is optional, I'm not gonna select. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm connected, next. Checking for updates. This device, the Realme 99, is using Android 12 with security patch November 2022. So this is what I want to show you guys. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So I'm gonna click next. Use your old device. You need your old device, Android or iPhone. Next. And then it says find your old device cable. Insert cable into your old device. So in order to do this transfer, you're gonna need a cable that goes from lighting to USB-C. Let's connect the lighting first, okay? Insert cable into your old device, I just did. Click next. Connect both devices using the cable. I'm gonna connect this device and what I should see is trust this computer on the iPhone. If I don't see trust this computer on the iPhone, this is not gonna work. So that's my question for Google, right? Look at this. Connect this. And it's only charging. I'm not getting the trust this computer message, guys. I only get the charging message. Look, I'm gonna do it again. Charging, okay? So this is telling me that I cannot transfer my WhatsApp data from the iPhone to the Android. Let's see what happened with the other phone that I have here. We're gonna have to set it up also because it's factory reset. Let's do that really quick. So this is the OnePlus N20. It's checking for updates. So this one has the Android 12 with January 2023 security updates. Just a few moments. We have the same screen as the other phone. Copy apps and data. I'm gonna click next. Use your old device, next. Find your old device cable, next. Insert cable into your old device, next. Now it says connect both devices using the cable. So let's bring the iPhone again. This iPhone is connected with the lighting cable. And now we're gonna connect the USB-C to the OnePlus. Let's see what happened. You see this? You see the trust this computer? This is what needs to happen in order for this transfer to work. You need to see this trust this computer, right? And I need to click trust. Why this is not happening on the other phone? And I'm gonna click don't trust. And I'm gonna try with the other one again, so you can see guys. So this is the real me, right? It says, insert cable into your old device, connect both devices using the cable. This here, look. And I just get in the charging. I'm not getting the trust this computer. And one more time, let me do it. This is the real me. Let me do it on the OnePlus. Okay. Connect both devices using the cable. Trust this computer. So this is what we need to see, guys, in order to complete the transfer. WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android. My question to Google is why this is happening, why I cannot use the Realme to do this transfer, especially since both devices are created by the same company, BKK. BKK create OnePlus and also Realme. So how can this doesn't work? So what kind of settings do I need to use here on the Realme in order for this to happen? I hope Google can respond or anybody that knows how to fix this, please let me know in the comments because a lot of people have this problem. They have Android 12 and they cannot move from the iPhone to the Android. I will continue investigating why this is not happening and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.